All right, so I'll try to, you know, I'll try to do a good job, but I, well, try to do a better job than just jumping, which is going to be difficult, but we'll see what happens. Um, how the hell am I going to go here? Um, hmm. Okay, let's start with what I've been reading, and then we'll see if that makes sense when I go to the strategic map, which was also what I've been reading. This thing here, I am, I have to, like, um... Annex more wall space, I can tell you that much. Um, I wish I had a better map of this. I'll figure it out eventually. But you see all these port numbers? We'll be talking about that on the live stream. Sorry about the uh, jumpy umpies. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. I will say one thing, man. I wish I had read uh, the uh, the naval... Oh, I haven't even finished. I just got to the ports. The naval components. Before I started going off into into this strategic map uh, video I did a few months ago and talking about that. Because the Grand Campaign rules, and I even, uh, I think, alluded to that at the beginning, it seemed a bit odd. It was like, why are you starting here? Uh, it's not a linear rule book. That, uh, that I'll just say. It reminds me in a weird way of like the Dungeon Master's Guide. I guess that's the way I'm viewing it. Uh, the Grand Campaign to me is the Dungeon Master's Guide for Der Veltkrieg. And that does not mean, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, but it, it says strategic double track. Oh, look at all this stuff. But um, one hex I just found out a little while ago uh, on the strategic map equals um, one mega hex on the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the regular maps. Now, oh, sweet Jesus jumping mother. I am listening to uh, Echo Delta again. I shouldn't be doing it. But Jesus Murphy, it's good stuff. It's just I don't know what the hell's gonna happen to my head. Anyways, here we go. I've been reading this. I'm just like a strategic bombing freak from hell right now. I just love it. Well, I wouldn't want to be on the. Uh, so I've been. That's. Uh, I'll put the links in for these ones. Merits the International Encyclopedia. You guys can go to this. Ba bing ba bong. It is amazing. I just just jaw dropping. Uh, what else did I do? And this is all getting down to resources. Look at this. You guys can download. Oh my God. It's just been heaven. Yeah, here we go. Airfare. And I, I, I finished this article and, and the uh, Wikipedia one. I just have to do the Zeppelin and um, the resources. But uh, this all coincides now with trying to get to this point. Look. This is the way I'm doing it. Uh, right now, word has gone out to the Kaiser. Hey, dude, or a Will, this is what we're going to do. I uh, hope we uh, you'll do. We know we don't. you don't want to um, strategic bomb Great Britain right now. We have to get Great Britain some way out of the war. I, look, we have enough problems with France alone. Starve them. We're going to... Um, anyways, this is what I'm going to try to do. Um, uh, I try to take Dave Schroeder's idea of air superiority and whatnot, but I'm not going to use it for combat, uh, that type of stuff. I wanted to do it for this type of orientation. Um, I want to go towards uh, nailing the ports. I want to starve the living dickens out of France. I do not want uh, Great Britain to have an easy time bringing uh, supplies and people in there. And uh, that's uh, I'll work that way. If Great Britain wants to give us a blockade, of whatever, so we'll give them a blockade. That's why I'm going to do it. Um, oh, oh yeah. Well, well, maybe I. I just have to keep going. I can't just keep leaving everything for the live stream. Did you know that Italy was the very first um, uh, state to uh, enter the war with a uh, um, a plane that was complete, like was an actual bomber. It was a true bomber. It was designed as that from the get-go. They were the only ones, man. I can't remember the name of it, but it was, I was like, wow, pretty trippy. Um, oh, and also that um, I do believe the Austro-Hungarians um, sunk a British submarine off, uh, off uh, the port of Venice. Uh-huh. So there we go. Anyways, I'm going down this road. Uh, I love it. Um, I'm also starting to think about all the different ways um, this is going off into thinking about things. Um, like here you've got a strategic map. And I'm just thinking, oh, yeah, that's the other thing about the, the grand campaign I was thinking about today. I was like, you know what? 
break it down into themes. What are the themes that uh, the grand campaign is looking at and just go that way. Don't start getting into the micro whatevers. So, uh, okay, we've got the naval component. I don't know it at all yet. I'm just looking. You got a naval component. Oh, sweet Jesus, the music. Naval component. Um, a temporal component to how things change. Technology. That's see another thing I want to see uh, how this deals with it. I want to like research towards getting like I want to put a lot of my eggs in the uh, strategic bombing basket. Is what I'm saying. I want air superiority. Um, maybe tomorrow I won't. It's just because I've been reading about the article, uh, the article stuff. Um, what else do we have? Uh, nation specific um, constraints, you know, and that type of stuff. So there's another one. Uh, resources. There's another theme. Um, and more uh, demoralization. Um, uh, yeah, that's a. I've got to start thinking that a ways. Um, and then, uh, like I said, getting back to the scales of the maps and also with core HQ. So, oh my God, I was looking at that on my uh, other thing there when I was finishing up trying to figure out how I'm going to, um, um, the two Austrian engineering units that are going towards um, the rail unit, uh, the broken rail at Oppel. Um, they're out of uh, command range. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll just make another core HQ. I was like, holy cow, Chris, you can't start making core HQs like they're popcorn. And I was like, okay, what what's the, the restriction going to be? Is it going to be like uh, maybe uh, three core HQs per army? But then, you know, maybe there's a lot of divisions in that particular army. Like, you know, there's always ways around it. I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, there's no effing way. Could, okay, we already have the four demoralization points if you lose a um, uh, core HQ, which is uh, not in the rules because you you don't lose anything. Uh, that type of stuff. So um, that's it. Uh, I better go off and uh, start like, holy cow. Oh, it's not on this map. Hold on. So that is supposedly Italian controlled. But then I was like, what the hell's going on? That doesn't make any sense. But then look, at least for my brain, I was like, okay, I can see now. You know what I mean? You're looping her. Oh my God. Now we got in into the Navy stuff. And then I found out about that uh, aerial component to navies. Oh my God. There was the other thing I want to find out about... Um, uh, the British, the very first um, uh, aircraft carrier and all this. Oh, my God. Anyway, you see what I mean, man? It's just this is a crazyville land of just more stuff to find out about. Okay, see ya.